Professor Diaz here, and in this video, I want to talk about absolute advantage and comparative advantage. Okay, in this uh, situation, we have two countries, the USA and Mexico, and they both have their production possibilities frontiers, uh, their production possibilities curves, and the two goods they can produce are apples or oranges. Okay, so both countries can only produce two goods, right? These are models. Um, of course, both countries can produce a lot more than these two goods, but this illustrates the basic concept, okay? Each country can produce uh, these two goods, either apples or oranges. We would say that the USA could produce uh, one, two, three, four, five, six apples, or one, two, three, four, five, six oranges, or some uh, combination, right? you know, four and two, or two and four, or five and one, right? That's their production possibilities frontier. Mexico, on the other hand, could produce either one, two, three, or four apples, or one, two oranges, all right? Or some mix of these goods, like two apples and one orange. Now, we would say that the USA has an absolute advantage in production of apples over Mexico. Why? Because the USA can produce six apples and Mexico can only produce four apples. Because six is greater than four, we would say the USA has an absolute advantage in the production of apples. We would also say the US has an absolute advantage in the production of oranges. Because the USA can produce six oranges and Mexico can only produce two. Because six is greater than two, we would say the USA has an absolute advantage in the production of uh, oranges. Now, comparative advantage is who can produce a good cheaper relative to what they have to give up to produce that good. So the first question is, for the USA, what do they have to give up in terms of oranges to produce one apple, right? Um, so if, if you're producing, and this is again why we use a straight production possibilities frontier when we're doing calculations, you can do it with a curved one, but you need to use calculus. So if we have a straight production possibilities frontier here, as we do, and we're producing three apples, and we want to produce four apples, okay, we want to go up from three to four, how much, how many oranges do we have to give up? Well, we'd go from three to two. So we'd go down one. So to go up one apple, we have to go down one orange, right? So we would say the cost of producing apples in terms of oranges is one. And to produce one more apple, we have to produce one less orange, okay? Um, and conversely, for the USA, if you wanna produce one more orange, Right? If you want to go, say, from this point to this point, to go from two to three, it's going to cost you one apple. You have to go from four to three. Okay, so the production, this is easy because the USA has six or six, so it's a one to one. You either produce one apple or you produce one orange. Okay, that's the cost of apple and orange production for the United States. For Mexico, it's a little different, though. Watch this. If Mexico wants to produce one apple, right, say they, they're at this point on the production possibilities frontier, and they want to go up from two to three, how much orange do they have to give up? Only a half, right, because it's going from here to here. So if Mexico wants to produce one apple, they only have to give up half an orange. That's what we call a comparative advantage. If Mexico wants to go up one apple, they only give, have to give up one half of an orange. And so Mexico has a comparative advantage in the production of producing apples. What about oranges? Let's look at it for oranges. If Mexico, let me try and zoom in here and erase some of this real quick. If Mexico wants to produce one orange, let's say they're uh, here, and they want to increase from one orange to two, 
How many apples do they have to give up? Well, they go from producing two apples to zero apples, right? So they go from here to here. And so if, if Mexico wants to produce one orange, it's gonna cost them two apples, right? And so uh, Mexico has, a, a, a USA has a comparative advantage in the production of orange because uh, the USA, it only costs them one apple. They only have to go down one apple to go over one orange, right? But the Mexico, if they wanna go over one orange, they have to go down two apples, right? And so in this situation, uh, the USA has the absolute advantage in apple and orange production. Uh, Mexico has the comparative advantage in apple production, and USA has the comparative advantage in orange production. This is a basic introduction to uh, absolute advantage and comparative advantage. In the next video, I'm gonna get more in depth into um, calculating these opportunity costs.